Archaeologists uncover French aristocrats' bizarre gold dental work after 400 years. A woman went through an extraordinary and likely painful procedure to have a truly unique smile. Archaeologists have discovered the bizarre dental hack of a 17th-century French aristocrat, she was using gold wire to keep her teeth from falling out. Anne d'Allegre, the Countess of Laval, died of illness in the year 1619, aged 54. Her remains were found buried in the chapel of the Chateau de Laval back in 1988. Laid to rest in a lead coffin, her skeleton and teeth were remarkably well preserved, with the latter found to have been accompanied by a dental prosthetic. While a mystery at the time, fresh analysis has revealed exactly why such was necessary. In their study, archaeologist Dr. Roseanne Collider of the French National Institute for Preventive Archaeological Research and her colleagues used a so-called cone beam computed tomography scan, which uses X-rays to build up a three-dimensional image, to examine Andaligra's teeth and the attached metal. The scan revealed that a filigree of gold wire had been used to hold together and secure several of her teeth, one of which was a prosthetic made of ivory from an elephant. This choice, the researchers noted, is somewhat unique in itself, with hippopotamus ivory having been more fashionable for such purposes at the time. According to the team, Andaligra's teeth needed attention because she had a periodontal disease that caused her teeth to become loose. Unfortunately, Dr. Collider told the AFP, the elaborate dental work may have ultimately made the situation worse. The gold wires would have needed to be repeatedly tightened over the years, a process which would only have destabilized the teeth to which they were anchored. However, Ann Dolliger would have been pressured by society into doing everything she could to keep her smile, the researchers explained, with the woman's appearance at the time being seen as integrally connected to her standing in high society. In fact, Dr. Collider explained, a contemporary of Anne d'Allegre, Ambroise Barre, the barber surgeon for the French kings Kings Henry II, Francis II, Charles IX and Henry III, is recorded to have declaimed that if a patient is toothless, his speech becomes depraved. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Barre is known to have designed several dental prosthetics similar to those employed by Anne d'Allegre. Anne d'Allegre would have been under particular pressure to maintain her appearance, Dr. Collider added, given her controversial status. She was twice widowed and did not have a good reputation. The fact that Anne d'Allegre was buried in the Chateau de Laval, rather than with the rest of the House of Laval in the necropolis at the Collegiate Church of St. Tugel of Laval, was the result of her being a Huguenot, a French Protestant. The Huguenots fought against the Catholics during the French Wars of Religion between the years 1562 and 1598. At the age of 21, at the start of the Eighth War of Religion, and Oliger found herself already widowed once and forced to hide from Catholic forces with her young son, Guy XX de Laval, while their property was seized by King Henry III. Ultimately, however, Guy XX de Laval converted to Catholicism, against his mother's wishes, and went on to die fighting in Hungary at the age of 20. According to Dr. Khalid, poor Anne Oliger's teeth certainly show signs that she went through a lot of stress. The archaeologist added that she hopes the new research goes a little way towards rehabilitating her. The full findings of the study were published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, reports.